Good morning, everyone. In this week's Torah portion, it talks about the tsaras, which is a spiritual form of leprosy that would afflict a person for speaking negatively, slander, or gossip. And the famous story, of course, is Miriam. When she spoke lush on her about her brother, she was afflicted with tsarat. But you know the quote, the saying, three strikes and you're out. First it afflicted the home, the walls of the house, like a mold. Then it went on the garments, and then ultimately on the skin of the person. And that's when they were out. They had to leave the community for seven days to sit in quarantine, not because it was contagious, but to teach them the pain of loneliness, isolation, and to cherish and appreciate friendship and to use their words to foster love and unity and never division and strife. Now, when the person would come to the Kohen and say, there's Sarat on the walls of my house, please come examine it. He would say the following words, Kinega, like an affliction, nearly, it seems to me, Babayat on the walls of my house. And the question is, why does he say, like an affliction, it seems to me? And rabbis explain that this is the first lesson in proper speech. Often we say things emphatically, Matter of fact, this is the way it is. We're certain about our views and our perspective. Not leaving room for doubt, for questioning. No humility that maybe there's another perspective. And therefore, the first thing we have to learn is that when we state things, our views and our opinions, it has to be, it seems to me, it appears to me like this is the way it is. But I'm leaving room for your perspective, for your view. These are the days of the Omer. Today's the 14th day, and we mourn the passing of the students of Rabbi Akiva, 24,000. And our rabbis say, why did they die? Because they didn't treat each other with proper respect. Treating one person, another person with respect means respecting their views, validating their perspective, not imposing your ideas and opinions on others, but giving them the opportunity to express their you. You know, when we finish the Shemona Esrei three times a day, we pray for peace. And we say, he who makes peace on high, Oseh Shalom B'Mirav, may he make peace amongst us. And what do we do? We take three steps back, we turn our head to the left, we bow to the right, and then to the middle. And someone said, this is the recipe, this is the formula for peace. The first thing is if you want to make pay peace with someone, you have to take a few steps back. You have to be willing to make space for someone else. And then you have to turn your head to the left, to those who are to the left of you, and then to the right, to those who are the right of you, those who don't share your views, and then those in the center. And then when you view everyone and include and embrace everyone's perspective and show respect to everyone, then you can make peace. There's a story told about a milkman and a baker. And one day the milkman took, the baker took the milkman to, a, to the Jewish court. And he said, when I buy butter from the milkman, I measure it and it, he sells me a pound, but it's a little less than a pound. He's cheating me on my butter by overcharging me because he's giving me less than a pound. And the rabbi turned to the milkman who made the butter and he said, how do you explain it? And he says, well, I don't know, he says, because my scale, I put a pound of flour that I buy from the baker on one side of the scale, and that's how I determine what a pound of butter is. In other words, the baker was the one who was really cheating the milkman by giving him less than a pound, and he thought that the milkman was cheating him. Very often we accuse others of things, not realizing that the flaw may actually lie in ourselves. So therefore, before you make an accusation, before you make a determination, before you state an opinion emphatically, use the words of this week's Torah portion. It seems to me, or as some people would say, in my humble opinion, but mean it sincerely. Be humble about your opinions. Have a wonderful day.